Hello, hello, you guys. So I have a smallish Timu haul, or I'm just gonna call it small. I have a small Timu haul for you guys today. I actually went ahead and I finally bought myself some diamond painting items, not a whole lot, and then I also got two diamond paintings as well. I'm gonna start with the smallest one. And prices are going to be on screen, and if it is still available, links will be in the description. So this one's a little stiff, but as you can see, it's 20 by 30 centimeters. Um, that is the canvas size, not the image size. I have not straightened this out yet. And I don't think I have anything at my desk to really help me do that. Uh, let's just see. Now, hold on, give me one minute. Alright, so I grabbed my son's lunchbox divider and I'm just going to flatten this out a little tiny bit. Sorry to be doing this on camera. I haven't opened this yet. All right. So as you can see, it is two cats kind of stacked on what looks like a cute little pile of watermelon slices. And I, I don't know what the leaves are, but, but yeah. So this kit comes with 14 colors. And it looks like it's all going to be letters. The back side is uh, kind of rough, like sandpaper. And this did come with a very, very basic kit, your pink wax green tray and pen. And so I know, like see the little mouth? I'm going to have to replace one of the colors in there with a shade of red from down here just to kind of put that there or pretend it doesn't have a mouth at all. I'll play around and figure that out. I also know that some of these lines might not come out as well as his mouth down here. But I actually, if you remember from one of my previous Timu diamond painting hauls, had another cat diamond painting that was small and I only changed like two little things on it and it looked so much better. Um, let me just show you real quick because I did recently finish it. Alright, so here's the one I've completed and oh my goodness, it is so stinking cute. So all I had to do here was it, the eyes, those grays up in there, those were like a, I want to say, kind of like that shade or lighter. They weren't as dark as it needed to be, so all I had to do was replace that one color with the darker gray. And then up here, I just kind of added an extra one into the side. I fiddled around with the shape of that. And I, I gotta say, I think it came out so much better when I added those little gems in there for the eyes. But it's pretty cute for how tiny it is, isn't it? I just love this. And this one had 18 colors. So I'm thinking maybe the same idea could help this one be more defined as well. I definitely do save all of my extra Jill, Jill's, drills. I have, what's it called? I don't remember what the name of the company is, but it's like a really, really big three or four level case with like pink florals of those like tall round jars and I, I put my extra drills in there as long as they match the shade of the same number or same DMC from the first kits drills I put in there. So I do save them and I can replace them if I need to and I have no trouble modifying things as you guys know. 
So here are the drills. Let me, let me go this way so you can see them better. And that is the drill colors it came with. Super basic, just lots of creams and shades of pinks and reds, obviously, because the watermelon, the watermelons, I should say. But yeah, he's super cute. And since I've been on like a mini kick, you know, um, fast reward or fast sense of accomplishment projects because I am a product maker, not a process maker. So I've been buying some mini ones that way um, when I need a break from my really, really big one that I showed you guys the other day, I can just go ahead and grab a tiny one. And this is very stiff. Actually, let me see. And the stick is very good as well. The stick was good on the other small cap one I just showed you too, in case you were wondering. Nothing has fallen off, everything is holding well. So the next one also just came with the basic kit, nothing extra. And this one's a bit larger, so I will probably have to turn it sideways to show you. So. This one is 40 by 70, and I don't like the glare on it, but I don't want to take the film off, because, so I don't want to take the film off this to get rid of the glare for you guys, because for whatever reason, Timo had this rolled up tight, and they purposely bent it in half and shoved it into my package. And there are some little parts, especially like up around here, where these tiny little folds and creases ended up touching each other. So like the canvas is stuck to itself in some spots. It's taken me, I think, three days now to get it as flat as it is. I'm not sure if it's ever going to be completely flat or how well the drills are going to stick in those little areas where the canvas was stuck on itself. And I've tried so hard to get these air bubbles out and flatten it. And there's just, it's pretty much as good as it's gonna get without the drills being put on it. And I'm really worried that it's not gonna work out well, which is a little frustrating because, you know, if I pay for something, I wanna be able to use it. Because uh, we don't pay for stuff for it to not serve the purpose we purchased it for. Hold on. I'm trying to test the glue. So I don't know if the film is really cheap or if the glue is good. So the glue is okay. Not the stickiest, but for some reason this can or this canvas, this film really sticks to it. So I think the film is just really thin and cheap as well. So I'm not super happy about this kit. The canvas is kind of mid-range in uh, thickness. It's not super thin and floppy, and it, but it's also not super stiff. But uh, we'll see how it comes out. But as you can tell, it's these cute frogs, like some scenery. There's plants in the background, just cute little round blob frogs everywhere with their cute little mushrooms. There's one down here in a blinky. I just thought it was so adorable. And again, yes, I know the details probably won't be the greatest, but I don't care because I'm not against adjusting them or driving or I, I don't drive. <laughs> Getting a ride two minutes to my Joann's next door and um, buying drills there to kind of make replacements because I don't think I have many greens yet because I haven't done many kits with greens so I don't really have backups of that. But it's just so stinking cute. 
adorable and I believe this is still up for sale unless it's now out of stock but um, sites like Timu tend to say oh it's out of stock or there's only five left I'm telling you now that's a sales tactic <laughs> I mean sometimes it's honest but sometimes they're just trying to convince you to hurry up and buy it now before it's gone so this kit uh, you can see here too I'll show you the back side in a minute so you can see the damage. So it has 23 colors and it looks like alphabet and numbers. So obviously it's going to be a lot of greens and tans. And I don't know if it's really going to pick up the shadow but you can really see the damage and where some of it was sticking to itself because the pieces are so intense. Mostly because I had to heat it up and warm it up a little bit and then slowly like pull it off of itself so I don't know how sticky it's gonna be in some spots so I'm a little upset there but it's still a super super cute image. Little guy over here that you can't see. Where did I put the drills? All right, and um, as usual, I'm pretty sure the colors are going to pop a lot more as well once the drills are on the canvas. That seems to be the case with diamond painting. So I'm going to turn the volume down again and we'll look at the drill colors. So that's all the packages of drills that came in this kit and again it is a lot of greens but I'm also seeing like a lot of um, grays and blackish colors I suppose which is a little bit of a surprise and the pink um, I'm not not totally sure where the pink will end up but I oh maybe up here because that moon looks a little pink. Yeah, I think that might be it. But yep, so this is the frog one. Again, it is 40 by 70 centimeters canvas size, not the image size, but as you can see, there's not like a huge border around it. So super cute. And I did not reach out to customer service and ask for them to replace it. I am at least gonna try it first and see if it works. All right, so these next ones are just a tiny amount of supplies so I don't have any trouble at all with the pink wax it works perfect for me and I don't refill my pen more than like every third time I do a diamond painting like I can work on something for three days with the same wax so but I wanted to try putty so this is um it's sold as diamond painting putty but I'm pretty sure this is just like putty adhesive for sticking things onto the walls or whatever so these are from the same listing 
I got this cute like turquoisey color and a pink obviously and you can see oh, which side I think it is I think it's here you can see I have used this I repackaged everything though for the purpose of showing you all but I have used some of the pink kind and I'll tell you how that went in a minute and it is here let me show you the quality of it so right away like you can see it's sticking there this stuff's like bubble gum and it does have a clear film over the top see super stretchy um uh, it's literally just like gum super stretchy super malleable malleable whatever the word is and both of them are like this let me, I should probably put this back in so it doesn't get cat hair on it. And the second thing I bought, again, I did repackage this for the purpose of showing you. I, of course, used this already. I had purchased my first actual pen for diamond painting um, because the regular ones were just kind of cheap and they were starting to get irritating. I tried to melt the tip of one and bend it myself, but it didn't work too well and it was just very frustrating. So this obviously comes in its own little case with foam in it. Hard to open. Oop. See when you open it though, these kind of move everywhere. So the pressure from the lid actually keeps everything in place and you can see they have little o-rings on them and they do give you a baggie of replacements which is amazing. Of course, your double-sided pen, and I did go with pink. You have two different holes to be putting ends in, and I'm pretty sure this is like acrylic. And then I thought it was just like two slabs of wax, but they actually have a hole here in the foam and quite a bit. And I probably will use this, and again, I'll explain my reasons in a minute. And you can see a nine placer, a three placer, a single placer that is straight, a straightener. And I did go with rose gold ends, by the way. Six placer. And then the curved single placer that I really, really wanted. You can tell I have already used it. And sorry about the little bits of dirt under my nails, y'all. I, ooh, looks like I lost an O-ring on this one already. So I guess it's good it came with replacements. So on the way home from walking my son to school, which was not fun, um, there were a bunch of Amanita mushrooms that were opened up in their umbrella shape and I dug them up and I moved them because they were right where the kids sit at the school to eat lunch and I didn't want them to like kick them or something. Huh, this is a, uh, oh, okay. So I think there's a right side and a wrong side for certain tips, or I think for the single placers versus the multi-placers because it fits snugly in this one, but like on this side, but not on this side. And then I think I was also using the six placer. Oh wow. So yeah. Okay, well they go in pretty tight at first, but the O-rings are kind of broken in now because like I said, I was, I was messing with it. You can see I used it. So I absolutely love how they package this and the fact that it came with extra rings. Just super useful. And I'm pretty happy with it. It was comfortable to use. Um, my only, hold on. My only complaint is that with this putty, I accidentally got the tiniest spot on my canvas. It ruined the stick. I could not get it off. When I tried to get it off, it smeared and smeared and smeared and made more of my canvas not sticky to the point where 
the section I was working on that had got this putty on it, I had to use glue. I had to put glue and leave my canvas out to dry so those gems would stay on it. Because I don't have the like wet sticky dried glue. I have like the E600 or E6000, whatever it is called. And then I have glue sticks. So sadly, um, I don't think, and this only happens when I use the multi placer. And also with this tool, come on. You can see it looks a little wider in the middle. I need to find pliers or something to pinch that flatter because with that being wider, when I press down to put my drills on the canvas, those ones in the middle just sink deeper into the pen and it's really frustrating. I don't know if it's gonna keep reoccurring um, because I have not closed it yet, but we will see. Uh, but definitely if you do use this putty, it's better for the single placers. And if you do put it in a multi-placer, really make sure there's nothing extra oozing out because like trust me it'll it'll grab your drills but if it's oozing out the side it's it's gonna ruin your canvas so yeah that was that was my little frustration but i'm so happy to finally have like an actual pen because let's let's be honest the shape of these aren't cutting it, and I'm like well on my way to getting carpal tunnel. Oh wow, this one's even bent. Huh. See? It's, I know it's probably not going to focus. See? It's bent. I haven't even used it yet. But I'm well on my way to getting carpal tunnel because I've been working with my hands. And I'm also a very pressured writer. Like when I write things, I push down really hard, which is probably why my penmanship sucks, but yeah. When you work with your hands nonstop for your hobbies and for a living, yeah, you kind of, carpal tunnel is almost unavoidable. I already saw a specialist and they're like, yeah, you need to do something because I'm about to get surgery like 10 years ahead of when my mother did. So that's not good. But so that's my tiny little supply haul and my two diamond kits I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what better putties there are out there or any you've tried because I don't want to keep risking ruining my canvas because this stuff is oozing out on my bigger multi-placers. And of course, like the video so other people can find me. Subscribe if you haven't already. I also do cross-stitch reviews. And thank you guys for watching today. I know it wasn't a very big haul, but I appreciate every single one of you who comes here and watches to the end. Well, I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you in the next one.